Hi, it's us again. Mary and I will be telling you all about cleaning your tubes after nasal surgery. So, first of all, once you get home, your dressing is going to have to be changed. First of all, what you're going to do is just remove the dressing and take it off. And you're going to leave the outer tapes on your face and just discard this one piece of dressing. Everything you need to change your dressing is going to be in your post-op care bag. You've got a bag. It's got the gauze in it. It's got Q-tips in it that you see here. You're going to have peroxide that you're going to be able to clean everything with. But first, what we're going to do is take the syringe because we want to make sure, because right now, Talia is going to probably be kind of clogged. So we're going to unclog her I'm a nasal clogged. tubes. Okay. What we're going to do is just attach the glue tip to the syringe that you were given. You're going to fill it with plain water from the tap. It should be at, um, it should be warm because warm is more comfortable than um, cold water. So you go ahead and fill it. You put it at the beginning of the nose where the opening is. You push it in like that and you're going to push it kind of vigorously like that real quickly. It's going to go out through the back of your throat which you can spit it out into the sink. You should probably be standing over the sink doing this. And you're going to repeat the action and do it with the other nostril. You just put it at the beginning and you go ahead and push. If you do it slowly, it's not going to work. The clot that was there is probably going to still remain there. If the tubes come out a little, just go ahead and push them back in. When you're through doing that, you can do it several times. There's no set amount of times you need to do this. You just want to make sure you can breathe. So after you do that, you go ahead and take the peroxide. You clean the areas around the tubes and in the tubes. You make sure everything's kept really clean. And the reason that you're doing that, it just keeps it really comfortable. Once you've cleaned it with the peroxide or the water, whatever you choose to do, you go ahead and take your ointment and you're going to put it all around the tubes because this will also keep you very comfortable. So you put it on the outside of the tubes, all the way around, and just underneath here. And these tubes are coming out a little bit, so you're going to just push them back in. Okay, so when you're through doing that, you take a piece of gauze, you're going to fold the gauze up, so forth, and you're going to put the tape in front of it. And you're going to tape the tape onto the tape that's already on your face that you haven't taken off. You just put it down like this. And you're clean for another little while. Ta-da! If you find there's discomfort when you do this, you can always take a pain pill before, about an hour before. But that's up to you. Not everybody has that issue. Usually it's not a painful procedure. It's just uncomfortable. It's the pressure of the dressing and the tubes that are in. In your aftercare pack, you've got your nasal spray. You've got the peroxide to clean it. And it actually, you also have a second nasal spray, which is your saline spray. Don't worry about any of these things. These are simply for after packing removal. And we'll go over that with you here in the office. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching Tubes 101.